All right, there's a fan going in the background. It's still pretty hot in here, so deal with the fan sound, right? Okay. I've made like six versions of this video. They were all too long, so I'm just trying to figure out a way of wording this bluntly and concisely as much as I can anyway. So, support for the LGBT community has been waning. There are a number of reasons for this. I think the biggest reason is what the SJWs have been doing. The LGBT community, when someone says it, seems to stand more now for people who shove forth that gender is non-binary than it is of those who just happen to have sexual attractions towards those of the same sex. You know, or might have attractions to uh, both sexes. Bisexual people have also always gotten the shit end of the stick when it comes to uh, LGBT support. Because it shoves forth the idea that, uh, you know, a, a lot of it's about sex. Oh, you can't talk about that. You can't say that it's about sex. Well, it, it is. It's about sexual attraction. Oh, but it's so much more. Well, yes, there are obviously differences in the way that people think and one's worldview if they don't have the idea that of uh, life is about creating children yeah there's obviously going to be some differences in worldview but um, sexual orientation is simply that is sexual orientation who do you have attractions to But now, you know, if you're gay, you're expected to believe in these 76 genders or whatever. You're expected to not actually be against gender roles. You're expected to, let's keep creating new gender roles instead of just allowing us to expand the definition of a, 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 what the two genders can be. Then we have the gay marriage thing. Since gay marriage was legalized federally, a lot of people have taken a stance towards the LGBT community that, well, you got what you wanted, so now stop complaining. Because if you keep complaining, you're just an SJW. So you can't complain about the some of the social attitudes that still, still exist. You can't complain about the fact that there's only a small handful of states where uh, gay people have uh, protections from being discriminated against at a job um, just for being gay. No, you can't talk about that. Or you're an SJW, right? Or you're an SJW who wants to call all uh, cisgender males scum, right? Put into that category. Or, or you know, if you don't support that, then you're put into the category of people like Milo Yiannopoulos, who's an anti-gay gay man who doesn't want any doesn't want any laws changed to a lot. I mean, he's he's against gay marriage. He's against gays having equal protection under the law and he thinks that being gay is immoral you know he's he's like the the, the, the typical republican who uh, you know speaks against gay rights and then is caught in a in a public bathroom with a wide stance but instead of staying in the closet uh, he he he's out of the closet but still supports that same shit right
and most of the support from the anti-SJW side of the gay community is fake. It's just as fake as it is with the SJWs. You know, if you if you don't agree hook, line, and sinker with their ideology, then you're an SJW. And if you don't agree with the SJW uh, ideology, then you're one of these anti-SJW, uh, anti-gay, uh, anti-trans uh, shitlords, right? Which basically puts the majority of gay people uh, in a shitty situation. It means that support for gay men, particularly gay men, is going in the shitter. And what are we supposed to do about it? How can we improve this? I don't know. I was very, very happy when I went to Seattle Pride because it wasn't filled with all that SJW shit. But it was... It was really... That, that, that Pride event was the silver lining to all this shit that's been going on all the time. So... I don't know. And I imagine there are some people who claim that I'm anti-gay because I think that a large percentage of it is nurture and not nature. That just having that opinion makes me anti-gay. Even though I take the stance of, look, adults should be able to do what they want as long as they're not hurting anyone else and as long as it's consensual between adults. I mean, what fucking difference does it make? And why is it... Why, why would it be considered bad if it wasn't purely genetic? Why, why, would, why would that have a negative connotation to it? You know, religious people... Even, even if... Even if even if, even if, even if, um, homosexuality was proven to be completely genetic, religious people would still find a way to, to speak against it. So if the concern is, well, religious people could, could use it against us more, how much more? You know, the truth is, as long as we're not hurting anyone else, what difference does it make? So... I don't know. I don't know. 